I wrote a movie script. Did you now? Yeah. I think it's pretty good. Uh, who's going to be the protagonist of your vid? Well, me, of course. Oh? Well, no. You're in it, though! What about Donald Jackson? I think he'd like to be in a script. You want, you want to hear it? Oh, you're going to give me the rough draft version? Interior, New Vegas. Afternoon. Bounty hunter, Zach Hazard, is arguing with serious caravanner, Mrs. Cass. You changed Sorry. your name to Zach Hazard? Well, okay, fine. Bounty hunter, Zach. Zach tries to hug Cass, but she shakes him off. <laughs> you wrote yourself getting rejected in your own story. Shh, shh. It's for character development. Okay. <laughs> Please, Cass, don't leave me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Zach, but I'm looking for someone a bit more brave. Somebody who faces his fears head on instead of running away. I am such a person. <laughs> Cass frowns. I'm sorry, Zach. I just don't feel excited about this relationship anymore. Cass leaves. <laughs> Moments later, drunk bounty hunter... Mike Burnfire barges in looking <laughs> flustered. Goodness, Mike, is everything okay? Oh, you wrote lines for me. What, what did it say? Uh, I'm afraid not. Come on, Mike, you gotta sell it a little bit. I'm afraid not. What is it? Don't keep me in suspense. It's a feral ghoul. I saw an evil feral ghoul eat a bunch of settlers. Defenseless settlers? Boom and heck, Mike, we've gotta do something. I agree, but I wouldn't know where to start. You can start by telling me where this happened. I was ellipses. Mike fans himself and begins to wheeze. Focus, Mike! Focus! Where did it happen? Camp Golf! That's right! Camp Golf! Zack springs up and begins to run! Exterior, a road, continuous. Zack rushes along the street, followed by Mike. They take a shortcut through some back gardens, jumping fences along the way. Interior, Camp Golf, shortly after. Oh, so we just had a montage of us running around? You gotta fill a lot with 90 minutes, man. I, I gotta fill it with something. <laughs> Malcolm Holmes, a feral ghoul, terrorizes two settlers. <laughs> Zach, closely followed by Mike, rushes towards Malcolm, but suddenly stops in his tracks. What is is? What's the... You have a typo here. What's the matter? That's not just any old feral ghoul. That's Malcolm Holmes. Who's Malcolm Holmes? Wait a minute. Why did I write this like you don't know who Malcolm Holmes is? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. It's a prequel. It's a prequel I just decided. What? Who's Malcolm Holmes? Who's Malcolm Holmes? Only the most feral ghoul in the universe. Blinking knickers, Zach. <laughs> we're gonna need some help if we're gonna stop the most ass feral <laughs> ghoul in the universe. You can say that again. Blinking knickers, Zach. We're gonna have to need some help if we're gonna stop the most feral, ass feral ghoul in the universe. I literally say it again. I'm gonna need bullets. Lots of bullets. Malcolm turns and sees Zach and Mike. He grins an evil grin. Zach Hazard, we meet again. Couldn't help but notice you picked up that Blue Star bottle cap back there. So I've been following you for- <laughs> So this is a sequel! You've met? Yes. It was a long, long time ago. External, a park, back in time. Are you having a flashback right now? Apparently I am. What do you mean apparently? You wrote this! A young Zach is sitting in a park, listening to some jazz music, when suddenly a dark shadow casts over him. He looks up and sees Malcolm. Would you like some corn? Says Malcolm. <laughs> Zach's eyes light up, but then he studies Malcolm more closely and looks uneasy. I don't know. You look kind of ass. <laughs> <laughs> Me? No, I'm not ass. I'm the least feral ghoul in the world. Was this script a Mad Libs and it asked for an adjective and you put ass? Wait, you're a feral ghoul? I run away screaming. <laughs> Interior, Camp Golf, present day. You were a coward then, and you're a coward now. I was a young child. What was I supposed to do, Mike? I, I'm so confused with the script. Zach turns to Malcolm. I may have run away from you then, but I won't run away this time. I run away. <laughs> okay. I mean, I am running away, but I'll be back with bullets. I'm not scared of you, says Malcolm. You should be, and I, I respond. As he flees with his tail between his legs... Interior, Boulder City Jail, later that day. I feel sure I left my bullets around somewhere around here. Are you sure? It does seem like an odd place to keep deadly bullets. You know nothing, Mike! We've been searching for ages. I really don't think they're here. Suddenly, Malcolm appears, holding a pair of bullets. <laughs> Wait, a pair? Looking for something? Crikey, Zack! He's got your bullets! Dingo ain't my baby! Tell me something I don't already know! The Earth's circumference at the equator is about 40.075 kilometers. I know that already! I'm afraid of sausages. Malcolm replies, dude, appalled. 
Why? Is he heavily invested in the pork industry? While Malcolm is looking at Mike with disgust, Zack lunges forward and grabs his deadly bullets. He wields them triumphantly. Prepare to die, you ass corn! <laughs> no, please. All I did was eat a bunch of settlers. <laughs> Cass enters, unseen by any of the others. Oh, it's fancy not seeing you there. Damn, girl, I can't concentrate with all that ass in front of me. Would you mind turning around, slow like? I cannot tolerate that kind of behavior. Those settlers were defenseless. Well, now they have a defender, and that's me, a Zack defender of innocent settlers. Does that intimidate him? Is he scared away? Don't hurt me, please! Of course he is. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't use these bullets on you right away. <laughs> because, Zack, I am your father. <laughs> you making it? Okay. Wait, no, you're not my father! Ah, well, it had to be worth a try. Malcolm tries to grab the bullets, but Zack dodges out of the way. Who's the daddy now, huh? Huh? <laughs> Unexpectedly, Malcolm slumps to the ground. Did he just faint for no reason? I think so. That's disappointing. I was kind of hoping for a more dramatic conclusion, involving my deadly bullets. The script says you're teabagging his body now. Yeah, I do teabag his body for a second. For 45 minutes! You gotta fill a lot in 90 <laughs> minutes! <laughs> All right. Be careful, Zach. It could be a trick. No, it's not a trick. It appears that Malcolm Holmes is dead. Mike claps his hands. Clap, clap, clap. So your bullets did save the day, after all. Cass steps forward. Is it true? Did you kill the ass feral ghoul? Cass, how long have you been? Cass puts her arm around Zack. Long enough. <laughs> then you saw it for yourself. I killed Malcolm Holmes. Then the settlers are safe? No, they, they all got killed. They were defenseless. It does seem that way. A cloud of vulnerable citizens enter, <laughs> looking relieved. You are their hero, says Cast. The settlers bow to Zack. There is no need to bow to me. Should have bet would kill the fiends later. There is no need to bow to me. I seek no worship. The knowledge that Malcolm Holmes will never eat settlers again is enough for me. <laughs> you are as humble as well as brave, says Cast. One of the settlers passes Zack a tinkling pendant. I think they want you to have it. It's a symbol of their gratitude. I couldn't possibly... Well, if you insist. I take the pendant. <laughs> Thank you. The settlers bow their heads once more and leave. Bye! Zack turns to Cass. Does this mean you want me back? Oh, Zack, of course I want you back. <laughs> Zack smiles for a few seconds, but then looks defiant. Well, you can't have me. Oh! Turn the tables on her. What? <laughs> you had no faith in me. You had to see me. You had to see my scarab feral ghoul death <laughs> before you would believe in me. I don't want a lover like that. But please leave. I want to spend time with the one person who stayed with me through thick and thin. My best friend Mike. Ah. But you heard the gentleman. Now be off with you, skedaddle, harlot. But Zach, I'm sorry, Cass, but I think you should skedaddle. Cass leaves. Mike turns to Zack. Did you mean that? You know, that I'm your best friend? Of course you are! The two walk off arm in arm. This is quickly devolving into a yaoi situation. When I said I'm afraid of sausages, you know I was just trying to distract the feral ghoul, don't you? They both laugh! <laughs> Wait, was that supposed to be a joke? I don't know, I guess. Okay. That's it. Is that gonna fill 90 minutes? You know, I don't think so. I think we should burn this. <laughs> Is there any way that we can erase the last 10 minutes? <sighs> if only we had some kind of machine. Oh wait, we have a time machine. Let's go back in time. I wrote a movie script. Wow, I've never heard of this script before. Tell me more. 